Game Ranks presents 10 things gamers wouldn't wish on their worst enemies. We got a list of complaints here. Some are really ridiculous and kind of first world problemish, but still they're all annoyances that people who play video games face on a daily basis. And we wouldn't wish these annoyances on anybody. So let's get started off with number 10. Overheating. Overheating is a big issue for all of us who play video games in a variety of different ways. Most of the time it affects PC gamers, a graphics card or a laptop overheating immensely. I think we've all been there at least once. You know, you think your machine is perfectly fine tuned and then all of a sudden it overheats and you flip out. Why? Why is it overheating? I had you going perfectly. Sometimes it might even overheat on a game that's not even that demanding. What the hell is going on? And laptops overheating, don't, don't even get me started because that happens too much to me when it really shouldn't. But PC gamers aren't the only people exclusive to this. The Xbox 360 Remember how much that son of a bitch would overheat? Yeah, well, it happened to me a lot. I remember looking up ways to fix it, and some of the ways to fix it were completely ridiculous, like suspending and hanging the power brick in midair, keeping a fan constantly blowing on your 360, and honestly, none of them worked, and it was totally ridiculous. But as people who play video games, we know that heat is essentially our worst enemy, so watch out for that. At number nine, let's talk about consoles just shutting off for no reason. Has this ever happened to you? It's pretty damn frustrating. My Xbox One has fared me decently so far, but I have had my PS4 shut off on me for no reason at all. What the hell happened? Hello? You gave up. You had one job, play my video game, and you turned off for no reason. Great job. What's even worse though is when you lose power. What? Or when the power goes out, obviously it shuts off your console, you might lose a save, it really sucks, but the worst thing is, think of this situation. You're at a friend's house, you bring a game over, you pop it in his disk drive to play it all night together, and then suddenly the power goes out, and you might not even have any idea when it's gonna come back on. So well, for the time being, that disk is stuck in that disk drive. So if you brought your game to your friend's house, you're gonna have to wait until the power comes back on because you're not getting that disk out. Some consoles do have a trick to open up your disk drive without power, but if you got no power, you ain't got no computer to Google how to do it. So what are you gonna do? <laughs> Brother. Honestly, like most of the problems on this list, you're gonna deal with it and move on with your life because there are things more important. But hey, and speaking of things that aren't important at all, number eight, screen glare. This can be really annoying for some people who only have time to play video games in the morning before they go to work or in the afternoon when the sun is setting. And chances are one of those times you're getting a sun glaring on your TV screen. And it's on this list because the chances are it's probably annoyed the crap out of you at least once. What really bothers me is nighttime scenes in games or dark areas. If there's even a slight bit of sun glare or any sun coming into the room, sometimes it's impossible to even see what's going on. And that's just something I don't like dealing with. No sir, I don't like it. And at number seven, here's another problem that is easy to fix, but it's more easy to complain about it, running out of battery on your controller or mouse. First of all, I don't think you should be usually using a wireless mouse for latency purposes, but when the battery dies on that or your controller, grr, that's frustrating, especially when some games don't have the feature to automatically pause it or something. The older consoles had that issue. Thankfully now the console's OS actually automatically will pause the game and tell you to put in a new controller. But ugh, it's so annoying. If you have a rechargeable controller or mouse, you gotta get up, you gotta find the charger cable, you gotta plug it in, you gotta run the cable all the way to your controller and then plug it into your controller. Or even worse, you gotta get up, you gotta walk all the way over to the kitchen, open up the drawer, find batteries to put in your controller. You might not even have the batteries you need. Then you gotta go all the way to the store and buy the batteries and they cost way too much money. Then you gotta go all the way back home, hope you don't crash into anything, get inside your house, put the controller batteries back in and then start playing again. It's just the worst, right? And at number six, here's a really awful situation. Let me set the scene for you. Okay, you're a really busy person. Say you got a kid, you gotta go to school, or you got your job you gotta go to, and you only have like 20 minutes to get some game time in in that day. Something you really have been dying to play, you're really excited, you got 20 minutes before you gotta go to work, and boom, you're gonna do it. So you take the latest game that you're really excited, you put it in your console, ready to play, and then suddenly you get a message, update PS4, or update the game software with a new patch. The console must have the latest software system update to play the game, or the game must be updated to play. Fuh, God! That usually cuts into most of that precious game time you would have had. Especially if you don't have the coolest internet and the game download is gonna take forever. And that totally blows, but of course if you were a little smarter you would look in the settings and realize that you can set some of your PC or console settings to actually automatically download software updates overnight. But hey, some of us forget about that or are too lazy, and this totally sucks. Not to mention the fact that most games nowadays have to install from the disc onto the console, which can take anywhere from an hour to six hours. No thanks. And at number five, let's talk about some medical issues. Have you ever had your eyes kind of dry out when you're playing a game for a long time? Or is that just me? Maybe I don't blink enough, or maybe I stare at the screen too intensely, but sometimes my eyes get all screwy and my vision blurs and I have to blink a lot. 
Should I, should I call a doctor? I don't know. Also, I know for a fact though, as a contact lens wearer, this is a big deal for us because contact lenses have a tendency to dry out quicker than regular eyeballs would because they're a piece of plastic attached to your eye. So you gotta blink even more. And when you're playing a game, you're not blinking very much and that'll lead to your contact lenses drying up a little bit and getting a little blurry and making it hard to see. I can't be the only person that has this issue, right? I guess the moral of the story is just keep your eyes happy and safe while you're playing a game. Maybe turn down the brightness or maybe blink and close your eyes for a few minutes. I now. now number four, here's an awful thing that I hate and it always affects my scores. Having a bad player on your team, not once, but multiple times. You've had that happen where you play a game in matchmaking, there's one guy on your maybe even just four player team that is absolutely fucking awful. So then after the match you say, all right, you know what, I'm out. You back out, you go back into matchmaking to find a different, completely new match with new players. And sure enough, once again, you get grouped in with that same guy. That same guy that sucked and dragged you down and ruined your statistics last match. Well, now he's here to stay. Sometimes you just can't shake a bad player and that's, that's aggravating as hell. And at number three, here's something I can't stand getting harassed into pre-ordering something I might not even want. Look, I walk into whatever game store it is to buy the new game. Chances are, and not to be a jerk, but you know, I probably, and you guys too, probably know more about the games than the people that are even selling them. You want to pre-order Call of Duty Black Ops 4? No. Do you want a protection plan for only $17.99? If your disc ever breaks, you only have to pay $40 to get a new one? N no, no thank you. Okay, well if you pre-order Madden 2020, you get a free football. No, no, I don't want anything. Please, leave me alone. Well, you sure? Because if you don't pre-order, we're not going to be able to guarantee a copy the day the game comes out. Okay, well, I'll just go to a different store or I'll just, I'll, I'll download it digitally. Uh, digitally doesn't run out of stock, okay? Just leave me alone. There's just so many questions, so many cards to sign up for, so many offers. I don't want to deal with any of it. I just want to get my game and go. If I sound like a cranky old grandpa, maybe I am. And at number two, here's something else really painful. Losing connection constantly. This could be for a variety of reasons. This could be you and your sucky internet connection. It could be the game's crappy servers, or you could be playing with a team of people who just have a really bad ping. And it's painfully frustrating not even in just the sense that it might make you lose, but just the overall feel and flow of the game. It's like trying to listen to a song where the music keeps periodically skipping. It's totally a first world problem, I, I know, but it's just, oh, it's annoying. And then of course, you know how it goes. If you lose and you blame the connection, you're just a liar. You're just full of shit. No one will ever believe you that you lost because of lag or bad connection because they might not be able to prove that it happened on their side, or maybe they're lying or everybody's lying. We're all liars. What if everybody's internet connection is actually totally perfect and we're all making this up to sound better than we really are? I'm just messing with you guys anyway. And at number one, number one really earns the title of things we wouldn't wish on our worst enemies because this is the worst. Accidentally deleting or saving over a game save file that had weeks of progress. I don't care what game it is. It could be a seven hour game or it could be a huge endless game like Fallout 4. Accidentally deleting a save file is the worst thing imaginable. I wouldn't wish that on anyone. I wouldn't wish that on Hitler. Okay, maybe I would wish I'm, I no, you know, I probably wish it on Hitler. But anyway, all that work you put into whatever it was, whether you were building a character or building up a base or leveling, grinding in an RPG or beating a single player story on extra hard mode, whatever it is, you worked hard to earn that and keep that. And then suddenly you lost it either due to your own mistake or some other corruption or something awful. And that is basically one of the worst things that can happen to you as somebody who plays video games. Of course, there are worse things that can happen to you as a human being like dying or starvation. But hey, I'm just talking about video games here and that's the worst. So anyway guys, those are 10 things players of video games experience that we wouldn't wish on our worst enemies. Of course, this is pretty much just a list of complaints and grievances. So we wanna know in the comments, give us 10 things that really bother you. We wanna hear about it, we wanna talk with you. So be sure to comment. If you had a good time with this video, click the like button, cause that really helps us out. And subscribing if you're new is a really good idea because we put out videos every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.